We have a special guest in today's video. This is Kirby. Here's my dog. He looks kind of scared. Is everything okay? Okay, bye. I'll let you go now. This is arguably one of the most important topics that I've ever discussed on my channel so far. That topic being Twitch growth. I know a lot of you guys are streamers yourself and you really want to know how to progress and advance your career. I want to share with you guys what I've learned so far, the do's and the don'ts. I want to help you guys achieve your goals. I feel oftentimes when you look into how to grow your stream, a lot of the same mumbo jumbo crap is thrown around. Have a better smile. Be funnier. Be louder. Have a cuter dog, which you can't have a cuter dog than that. I think these things are important, but I just don't think that's going to help you grow on Twitch. Now, the single biggest problem with growth on Twitch comes to the fact that there's no known algorithm to help you grow. Algorithms are super important to growth as they are an equation of certain metrics that tell the website, hey, this needs to be promoted. For example, on YouTube, if you make a video and people watch it for eight minutes and then I make a video and people watch it for 30 seconds, it tells YouTube that people like your video more, so they're going to take that and promote it and recommend it to other people a certain amount of time watched or a certain amount of likes or comments on something saying that this is good for other people to see as well twitch doesn't have that twitch has nothing to say that this person should be boosted up in any way the only thing that gets you higher in a directory is having more viewers so my primary central belief is that the way that we're gonna grow our twitch presence is by making content on more discoverable platforms so stuff like YouTube Twitter Instagram Facebook even you see what I'm saying you all kind of you kind of following what I'm going with so far the main problem with Twitch is that there is no algorithm to help you with exposure. It's not their job to promote your stream. If I start my own company, I can't be upset that the city doesn't put a billboard up telling everybody that I'm in business. It's up to me to go out and find those viewers and give them value for my Twitch streams to come and hang out. So that's really where I want to shift my YouTube channel is to help you guys find worth in your own content creation careers. And to be completely honest with you guys, in my almost two years of streaming, it's just now dawning on me that this is the right way to approach it. And this is the most important time to be doing something like this, growing on other platforms so you can grow on Twitch. Because people are catching on, people are becoming more and more aware of the fact that Twitch just isn't going to give it to you. You got to go out and find it on other platforms. So how can we fix this? How can we actually make you more discoverable on other platforms? Number one, this is actually going to involve you streaming less. There used to be a mentality that if you're not live, you're not grinding it out. You're not growing, you're not making any progress if you're not on Twitch live. But let's be honest, if you're live for three people for eight hours, what progress did you just make? I say that as someone who has done multiple 24 hour streams for five people in the middle of the night. Shout out to Nina, Hannah, and Katie for being the only people in my 24 hour stream that first time. It's not worth it. You don't gain anything on any platform. You just were screaming into the void. <laughs> yeah, those three or four people that are there through the middle of the night are the best and those are probably the most loyal in your community. But the point is you're not making any progress by sitting there and streaming for virtually no one. Stream less, stream two days a week, maybe three days a week, but reserve time to make content on other platforms that are more discoverable and once you make content that is both more discoverable and has actual value to it you're then going to attract twitch viewers people are going to want to come meet you people want to spend time with you obviously at the time of this recording I'm still a growing content creator and I'm figuring out the system as well but I think it's important for us all to recognize we aren't gonna grow by just sitting still and streaming to no one so good we got that out of the way you're gonna be streaming less so now you have a ton of extra free time what are you doing with that? What are you into? I want you guys to tell me in the comments down below, what kind of videos do you enjoy watching and what kind of things do you want to make? Figure out what you're most interested in and then grind out videos for that particular thing. As for me, I like tips and tricks. I like reviews. I'm into tech. So that's my niche. That's the things that I want to do. Find that thing that you enjoy so very much and get on content with it right now. Spend the time that you're not streaming thinking about what you can do better with your videos to maximize everything you get out of them. And I can tell you already, by just reducing the amount of time I'm going live on Twitch. It not only gives me free time to work on other content, but it really makes that time I spend with my community special. People know that they can only catch me three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. They don't see me in a live setting in any other days except those three. So they're going to make it a priority to come see me on one of my three streaming days. You can't argue the fact that growing on Twitch by yourself is almost impossible these days. It might have been a little bit more possible when there was fewer people on the platform, but you go to any category that is a well-known game. I guarantee that a big portion of you guys watching this video play Fortnite, League of Legends, maybe maybe even Valorant. There are so many people streaming. How are you going to get on the third or fourth row of the directory by yourself? There's just too many people there. That's nothing against you. You might be the funniest and most talented person on the platform. There's just too many other great people there too. So you have to stand apart and that's what's going to make you different is that you are going to take the time to go onto YouTube, go onto Twitter and make the best content on those platforms that you can. And by doing that, you're going to bring over a 
whole plethora of new faces on Twitch. That's my aim too, and I really want to help you guys with any stream questions you have, whether they be technical related or anything else related to social media growth. I want to talk about it. Comment your concerns down below. Comment some questions you have, some things you guys want me to make videos on. And the very last important thing I'll talk about is collaboration. I feel like it's hard to collaborate with other people on the platform. Collaborating with someone new can sometimes be awkward, but it's important to reach out, get involved with more communities. Collaborating with other people around your size is the best way to maximize the amount of faces that come to your stream. Give yourself the opportunity to be in front of as many faces as possible. That's the point of collaboration, is that there is a mutual gain between the both of you. So reach out to people, be kind, make friendships, make connections. So I think I've presented some pretty important things for you guys to think about at least. Focus on streaming a little bit less to make content on more discoverable platforms and collaborate. That is the best way you'll be growing on Twitch. If you guys have any further questions, I do stream three days a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Feel free to stop by the streams, ask me any more questions you might have. But thank you guys so very much for coming by today. If you did enjoy the content and you don't mind doing so, go ahead and drop a sub like. That's a subscribe, a like, and a comment. And I will see you in the next video!